Okay guys, so to install, first off we have to create a Linux box, which we've done by having the setting other, and then creating a new Vim, VM, and then after we created a new VM, we started this, and we uploaded um, as a startup disk, Parrot Security 6.3.2 AMD64.ISO, you click start. And then try slash install. Let's see. You'll have a few warnings, but these are um, these warnings are actually like false positives. As you can see, set up console service. Done. Load kernel module um, DM mod is done. Live config service done. It goes through the entire startup process. So first loads um, the cursor GUI or the circular GUI. And then after that, you're going through the setup process. You can see the Parrot OS. Load the splash screen, screen again. Now it's going to be a blank screen for um, some time. It's basically setting up all the parameters for the operating system. And as you can see, the um, cursor is changing to uh, Linux cursor, still running in the background entirely. While that's loading, um, something to keep in mind is for the base memory and the boot order. I've done it where I've done the minimal configuration settings, so it might be a little slow. This is sort of just for demo purposes, just to get the pirate box going. And let's see. And something also to keep in mind um, is you could do pause, you could do reset. Um, once this OS basically fully runs, what I would do is I would do a CPI shutdown, which allows you to set it down through the actual menu. And this is very crucial crucial in order for you not to actually corrupt the ISO or the operating system image. Let's see. And then as you could see, um, this is actually installed. So, so hit escape. Click on this and then you could actually go through the applications. You could actually click on Parrot. You could see the actual VBox hard disk and the actual file system. And that's sort of how you get started with um, installing the Parrot OS. But this is just part one of creating the Pirate Box. And um, as you can see, the menu is here. You have all your actual configurations and all the programs. So very cool. And um, I'm glad to get started sort of with this series.